Health officials say COVID-19 health and safety contingency measures are reaping dividends as the country is seeing a decline in national COVID-19 numbers. It's a trend that the Minister of Health detailed in his contribution to the 2021-2022 budget in Parliament today. Fern Carey leads us off tonight. With over 12,000 positive COVID-19 cases on record nationwide, the most pressing issue for health officials continues to be combating the COVID-19 pandemic. And more than a year into the pandemic, health officials are now seeing a decline. Bed occupancy rates are on the decline in every single COVID-19 care facility. Just a few months ago, I shared in this honorable place that three of these facilities were under significant pressure and was almost at capacity. Today, the picture is better. Bad occupancy rates as of yesterday at Princess Margaret Hospital is 57.9%. At Doctors Hospital West is 31%. And at South Beach Health Center is 30%. And in Grand Bahama, it is 8.7%. Oh, yeah. There are a total of four persons in the entire country receiving ICU level care for their COVID-19 care. Mr. Speaker, also the positivity rate is trending downward, currently sitting at 9%, from a high in the third wave of 16%, a 43.5% reduction in the positivity rate. With the national COVID-19 death toll now standing at over 230, Minister of Health, the Honorable Rembrandt Wells, renewed his call for residents to get the COVID shot. There is continued shift of the burden of disease to those 20 to 49 years. Within this group, the greatest rate of increase has been among the 25 to 34 year olds. I want to say that again. Within the 20 to 49 group, which is accounting for the last majority of the burden of our disease in our third wave. Within that group, the greatest rate of increase has been among the 25 to 34 year olds. SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19, is a social creature that thrives, multiplies, and spreads when we get it. If you want to party, vaccinate. If you want to hang with the crew, vaccinate. Mr. Speaker, I've been saying that I got mine, you get yours, get vaccinated. Mr. Speaker, I am fully fully vaccinated. It's been some 13 weeks since the vaccination program started in the country, and to date, over 70,000 persons have been vaccinated. The access of COVID-19 vaccines is of little use if we do not roll up our sleeves and get the shot. As of the 15th of June, in the Bahamas, a total of some 70,573 doses have been administered. 51,099 first dose and 19,474 persons have received their second dose and is fully vaccinated. Mr. Speaker, based on the Department of Statistics projections, it is estimated that in the year 2021, there will be some 272,000 adults aged 20 years or older in the Bahamas. This translates to an 18.8% of our population receiving the first dose of the vaccine and some 7.2% of our population having completed the vaccine schedule or who are now fully vaccinated against COVID-19. Minister Wells also revealed that the third and final doses of the AstraZeneca COVID vaccine are expected in country by the end of June. That includes an additional 33,600 doses procured through the Pan American Health Organization COVAX facility. Fern Carey, ZNS Network News. You sure, right? Yeah. Money shot. You sure? All right. All Money right. shot. Okay, okay. Miss, 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 miss. You know Louis Abayan, right? Oh, well, you must be getting kids be late. Why I bring no money like that? Just you know you greedy. Well, today is your lucky day. Oh. Check out the ZNS Shopping Network. See what deals they have on food. Look here. Boy, my cap got some super deals. Check it out. You got a $25 coupon for $15 and a $20 coupon for $10. <laughs> well, my cap it is. All right. Hey, I roll them at you, eh?
Log on to ZNSShoppingNetwork.com and get your deals today.